Hello from Baxa Europeana, this time here for, with my Croatian flag discussing Croatia and its policy. I'm a big fan of, of Croatia, it's a fantastic country. It has now the Euro, that will be a big change and I'm very happy. It should also be in Schengen next year and also in OECD, that's really big progress and that's something fantastic. And I also defend always the day of victory, the day of liberation in uh, beginning of August, 5th of August when uh, Croatia is celebrating that it regained victory and uh, unity and it was not a genocide to all my Serbian distractors because the big operation Oluja was a justified military operation supported by uh, the Americans as a response uh, to the genocide and also to four years of illegal, um, this, uh, illegal republic. Yeah? and that the Serb own uh, leadership then ordered the people uh, to basically leave uh, because they were thinking that they will have no great future in Croatia. I think they would have had, yeah. Of course, some of the criminals would have been facing justice, but most of the population absolutely would have been living much better as a EU and NATO member Croatia already. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people are already applauding. Yes, but that's a historic debate. What's much more important is that Croatian now today policy uh, towards Montenegro is not so forthcoming as I hoped it. Yeah? And let's not uh, confuse this with uh, whatever policy Tritan Abasovic has or not. Yeah? Montenegro is now a NATO ally and it's very, very important to make the reconciliation. Tritan was going to Dubrovnik now, that was very good and he apologized uh, for uh, the crimes of the past. He made the statement that he was very young, but he is the Prime Minister. He maybe should make an official visit and the official apologies. But it's very important to start the process of Prevlaka, uh, this uh, the peninsula, and also with Morin, with the prisoners of war camp and with the public apology. That's very important to get Montenegro fast in the European Union. And it's also very, very important uh, to make sure that Croatian policy to insist on a new entity or a change of electoral law in the Federation uh, with uh, the Bosniaks, this is not a good policy. This was exactly what Dutschmann wanted, a third uh, entity. And we are not going to divide Bosnia further, but we do uh, later after we have joined NATO and Bosnia has joined NATO, then there can be a federal Bosnia like a federal Austria with nine federal states. I made that case already on my Twitter feed but not uh, to uh, wait with the EU candidate status of Bosnia. That's really a very wrong uh, policy. What Croatia should do now, the uh, same as we in Austria supported Croatia in the past, Croatia should do its utmost to make sure that uh, Bosnia is now in NATO, gets EU candidate status, gets the euro as a currency and is a secure and European fully integrated country then also can be some constitutional reforms. I'm not principally against that. I made my proposals already, but the priority is to keep that country safe, to have Kosovo recognized, and also uh, to make very clear to Dodik that he doesn't control Bosnia and uh, to make any kind of cooperation uh, with uh, Dodik on that one. And uh, to somehow, like uh, the Croatians have been very problematic for me. <laughs> imposing this tribal policy and then even thinking it's better to talk to the Russians than to us. This was all pretty bad stuff. Yeah? And I'm very unhappy about that one. And I call the Croatians uh, to come back to reason and uh, stay closely with the Western powers and uh, make sure that Bosnia recognizes Kosovo, gets the Euro now exactly in that moment or when uh, Croatia gets it uh, well, so we have the same currency, can be done so easily. And then uh, to have uh, the EU candidate status, Croatia for Bosnia, absolutely, and NATO membership. And once all this is done, Croatia, then it's the moment for constitutional reform and we can also discuss constitutional reform, but only then. And now, Croatia, please return to reason and um, that would be really very helpful because I have so much to do already to convince uh, the Austrians for reasonable Balkan politics and Ukraine politics. It's a bit too much to ask to also convince the Croatians, but I would kindly ask you to come back to reason and support EU candidate status and not uh, to mess up Bosnia, because that will not be happening anyhow and you create a lot of problems and you create a lot of opponents uh, to your future and I'm really very angry actually about that one. 
I'm sorry I have to make this video because I really have done a lot for Croatia and I love that beautiful country, <laughs> but I don't like your current foreign policy towards Bosnia. And please change that. Thanks a lot. More to come from Pax Europeana. Bye.